I started teaching at a school with lots of special needs. I needed assessments that taught. I used hot potatoes, Google Forms and lots of self-assessment. They didn't know how to revise, so I came up with some Jedi mind tricks. So in a school where only 38% of students got the government five good GCSE passes, I got a pass rate of 100%. Those ideas have stayed with me because we need assessment that genuinely helps children to succeed. However, the one skill that I believe 21st century learners need more now than ever is coding. The problem is that people think coding is not about creativity, problem solving, or worse, they think it's something only a handful of geeks need to do. I needed to come up with a great lesson, something simple that would inspire students to want to code creatively. My concern was that too little happens with too much code. So after a lot of game ideas and playing with code in Scratch, I came up with a platformer that used only five blocks of code. The barriers had come down. However, a great lesson is no good if it's hidden on a teacher's hard disk. So I started by uploading it to teacher resource sites. I talked with Google teachers and then I was asked by the Raspberry Pi Foundation to organise their first big event. Suddenly, I was hosting an event that the BBC were covering. I then wrote a version for the magazine Linux user. But it was only when I organised an event at St John's in Cambridge that I realised how much impact a lesson could have. People literally drove for hours to come to a two hour coding workshop. They said how much they wished their schools were offering this kind of teaching and how grateful they were for the opportunity. Children have spent hours coding because we have lit the fire and they have found a new way to express themselves. There are many great teachers but it's only when we share that we unleash the potential of our lessons.